This is a GLI NET Comet IPKVM. This little device will let you access your computer from anywhere in the world without any subscription fees. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up from A to Z in under seven minutes. And at the end, I'm gonna show you its most important features. Let me start first by showing you what you get in the box and the ports of this device. In the box, you have the KVM, USB-C to USB-C cable, USB-A to USB-C cable for the power. And this is a power adapter, HDMI cable, Ethernet cable, and some documentation. The KVM has USB 2.0 port for the accessories, HDMI input port, mouse and keyboard USB-C 2.0 port input, and 5 volts 2 ampere power input, and it is USB-C 1 gigabit per second Ethernet port, and on the other side you have the reboot button. Let me show you now how to connect the KVM to the PC that you want to remote control. The first thing you need to connect is the keyboard and mouse of the KVM. So connect the USB-C cable that came with the KVM and the other end of the cable connected to any USB-C port on your PC. And now the other thing you need to connect is the HDMI cable here. Connect one end of the cable and then connect the other end to any HDMI output of your PC. The third connection you need to do is connecting the Ethernet port of the KVM to any LAN port of your router. Here I'm using my own Ethernet cable because the Ethernet cable that came with the KVM is very short. And this is my router here. So I'm going to connect the other end of the Ethernet cable to any LAN port. Now the fourth and final connection is the power. And it is very important as it is written on the KVM here is that do not use a power delivery adapter apparently it messes up the KVM so connect the power adapter to the USB A to USB C cable on this port it is clearly labeled 5 volts 2 amperes and connect the other end to a power outlet and this will start the KVM the first thing you need to do is to check for any firmware upgrade so go to the management interface of the KVM by opening a web browser on the PC that is connected with the USB cable to the KVM to go to the management interface of the device, you need to open the web browser and go to glkvm.local and here you will get a warning because there is no HTTPS on the device. So click on advanced and then continue to glkvm.local and the first time it will invite you to put a password for the device. So here put a very strong password and you need to confirm it. Then click on apply. So as we said, we need to check the firmware version. Notice that it is now version 1.2.2 and there's a dot. It means that there is an update. Click on it. So we are now at version 1.4.2 and now click on upgrade now. So now the upgrade finished. It should refresh automatically and here you need to put the password again. And the weird thing is that it didn't upgrade to the latest version. It upgraded to an intermediate version. So let's click on it once again. And here's the 1.4.2. We're going to do the same thing. And let's see if it upgraded to the latest version. And finally, it updated to the latest version. Now that everything is connected and the firmware is updated, I'm going to show you how to access the PC from a remote PC using the KVM. So here I'm going to switch to screen recording. And on the PC that you want to use to access the PC that is connected to the KVM, you need to install a software. So go to glinet.com and hover over products. And then on the left, click on the remote control. And then on the right, choose your device. And in our case, it is the Comet GLRM1. So click on it. And here you have download app. Click on download app. So I'm going to click on download for Windows. And I'm going to save it. And after the executable is saved, you need to install it. So here I already installed it. I'm going to launch the application. So this is the application. So click on yes. And this is the login screen. So here you need to sign up for an account. So what it will do is that it's going to create an account for you in the GLINet cloud. And the cloud of GLINet will access your KVM. I'm going to show you all this. Click on sign up and then choose your region. I am in Canada, so it's America. And put a username. And then for the password, choose a very strong password and I'm going to confirm it. And here you need to put an email so that the application will send you a verification code. So I'm going to put an email here and then you need to click on send code. And now go to your email and get the code that the application sent you. It might be in the junk folder, so make sure to search everywhere. So here I got the code 
and then click on sign up and this is the applications screen and here we need to add the kvm device we have two methods to add it if your computer is on the same network as the kvm it will detect it automatically otherwise we need to add it manually so here i'm gonna add it manually because this computer that you're seeing now is on a different network from the computer that is connected to the kvm physically so i'm gonna click on add device and then i'm gonna click on add manually and here i'm gonna name the device for instance home and then you need to get the serial number of the device that is on the bottom of the device do not share the serial number with anyone so here i'm gonna put the serial number and then i'm gonna click on add and it found the device so it says binding successful so here i'm gonna click on done and now you see that my kvm home is online so now you need to click on remote control here so that you can access your remote pc i'm gonna click on remote control and here it will ask you for the administrator password that you put on the kvm remember we put this when we went to update the firmware of the kvm so here i'm gonna put it and then click on login and now it will connect to your remote computer so here i'm gonna show you some interesting settings click on settings here you can get the sound from the remote computer so i'm gonna enable the speaker here and there are still a couple of things that I want to show you that are important. The first one is under toolbox. If you click on toolbox here, the most important thing is the wake on LAN. So here you need to click on add device. And now the KVM, it will go and it will scan the local network that it is connected on. And here you need to search for the IP of the PC and then add it. So here it is. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to click on apply. So let me show you how the wake on LAN works. I'm going to put the remote computer to sleep here. I'm going to choose the power button and then I'm going to click on sleep. So now if you click on wake here, it should wake the computer. But there is a bug that I discovered. So to be able to wake the computer, you need first to click on modify and then close it and then go and then click on wake and now the computer will wake so this is a bug in my opinion that should be corrected in the next firmware upgrade and there's another important option called virtual media so here easily you can drop any file here from the pc and then go to the remote pc here and retrieve the file now i'm gonna log in here and also i'm gonna show you how we can put it full screen and we're gonna test the video and audio and there is something also weird about the audio it like changes the tonality of the voice so let me put it first full screen and i'm gonna open chrome and launch my channel on youtube to show you a way to save money on software licenses <laughs> so, so i'm gonna show you a way is, to fight so <laughs> this is something else also that should be corrected in this application it is also worth mentioning that you can add accessories to this KVM, like for instance, this ATX power module. So this one connects to the KVM on the USB 2.0 port, and you connect it also to the motherboard of your PC. And this way you can remotely control the physical power on off button of your PC. So as you saw, this IP KVM from GLI Net works very well except of course for the weird sound that it produces so i'm sure that gli net will correct this in a future update if you want to check it out i'm going to leave an affiliate link in the description if you make a purchase using my link i'll gain a small percentage at no cost to you and this will support my channel and if you liked my video please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it i want to thank you all for watching i'm eloy from knowledge sharing tech see you in the next video